right now here in our shop uh, we're just uh, these uh, uh, arming this arming this arming guys our, our, our things and we're now returning this is a restaurant guys we understand that Pasok tayo, pasok tayo guys Like a sensei, Juju hit my line like what you want, babe. Hit her with the script like working out with her, babe. No way, I'm at the gym. You at the gym? It's a small world. I might just have to link with you and him. Look up at this girl like let me get my words right. Cause if she catch me with you, then we going down like sugar. Like I got a plan. You take your bag like that, then we gon' hit that gas. Make a U turn, hundred miles on the ninety. Gotta pray to God that we just do not crash. Okay, okay, I can no see like I just tried. Hey, show me the school to my rock and I'm not talking about Jack Black. Hey, what you do when you doing something you not supposed to do? Thinking it's gonna shield the one you love like they bulletproof. Just like Paul Pierce, it's all lie when they know the truth. Hey, it's cry. Guys, good day to you all. Today we're going to make a uh, mushroom risotto balls. It's a very good appetizer, guys. It's very appetizing. And for today, we will first make the risotto rice. Yeah, I just sauteed the onion and then the garlic, white onion of course, guys, and with the fresh button mushrooms with the olive oil. Mm. Smells great here, guys. Smells good. Smells good and great because of the onion and the fresh mushrooms. Yeah, the technique is you have to put salt while sauteing with the onion and the mushroom, guys so that the natural juices of these uh, uh, vegetables will be released and that will add flavor to the dish look at that guys did you see it's sweating everywhere it's sweating everywhere guys now that means to say that water is kind of natural flavor of the uh, of the of the food now guys, we'll just put a little bit of this uh, Egyptian colorless rice. Actually guys, this is not a real risotto because we're not using the real risotto rice. But anyway, we'll just... More, more. Careful, careful, man. Anyway, we're just using this rice, guys. Actually, this is colorless rice or the Egyptian rice. It's very tasty rice, guys. I'll show you now. See? Look at that. Mmm. See? Mmm, it's white. Yeah, it's a very clean rice. Maybe you're asking, guys, why I didn't wash the rice. Anyway, the, the colorless rice is already... It's not so that dirty, guys, because it's well packed and it's, it's, it's white. And it looks really clean. The reason that I didn't clean the rice is because the technique for this, right? Did you remember? Do you remember the, the juices, the first... The, the natural juice that was, that, was, that was released by the food. Yeah, that natural juices, guys, automatically will be absorbed once you drop the rice that are unwashed. So look at that, guys. These are tidbits. That's what I'm talking to you. Look at that. Mmm. See? Uh, all of the flavors, the brownish things, are being absorbed by the dry rice. So therefore, your rice is going to be tasty. Tasty. That is a way to do it. Look at this. You do some little bit of the brownish on the in the, on the bottom. It's fine. That's fine. That will create a flavor on the dish. Yeah. 
You see, it's, mm. I smell some kind of burned, uh, not burned, but uh, toasted rice out there, out here. But that will add flavor, guys. And now it's about time to season it. We put some black, uh, sorry, salt and some black pepper. Black pepper. A little more, a little more, a little more. That's it. Now, we can now add water. This moment, guys, we can now add water. Like that. Oh, see? Now, that's it. Now, just keep on stirring the rice, guys, like the normal risotto. It's like you're cooking a, a, por a porridge. That's how it used to be. The reason why you have to keep on stirring, guys, so it will create a what a gummy texture like just like what the risotto has that's what we're aiming about a very uh, wonderful texture on the rice the, the moment you keep on stirring on the on the hot uh, temperature on the simmering uh, uh, status or level the rice will release its uh, a gluten and that becomes like this yes, yes. this colorless rice is very good, very good for this recipe for a risotto because it would really we'll come back in a few minutes now guys because this is a risotto it's of course it's an Italian dish we need to prepare our herbs where's our herbs um, sorry to say guys, but we are just using a uh, dry herbs around here since you know it's it's Bahrain We don't always have The fresh herbs available in the market there is but it's on the central market Which is farther from here guys, and it's also a bit too expensive quite expensive because It is from whole land or from London or from, from European countries. So we'll just use the The dry thyme we have also a rosemary here, and we also have the basil, 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 basil. There's oregano, guys, and there's basil, okay? All of these uh, dry herbs are... Hello! We're not putting too much of this salt because um, actually we're the, the regular risotto, we're, we're putting a stock chicken stock or a beef stock but for me I will be using a chicken stock but I I didn't able to prepare a natural stock so I'll just use the of course the bullion cube or the chicken stock for this recipe guys I can use the whole one piece one piece only yeah so that's the that's a normal thing like the normal risotto and keep Keep stirring and adding the adding water. You have to keep adding water, guys, like the normal risotto, and make it thick. Thick. It's okay to get a little bit of mushy, guys. It won't overcook because this colorless rice or the Egyptian rice is very quite uh, quite tough. So nothing to worry. So keep doing it until it becomes. Creamy, 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 and soft. Once it's soft, then we're done. Almost done. At this moment, also, we may not be putting our fresh herbs. For these guys, I will be putting a thyme. Dry thyme. Yeah, that's good. And oregano. Oregano. stirring until it becomes like a risotto so that's it guys keep stirring guys and we're all, all we're almost done we're gonna be adding a butter a tablespoon or two of butter so put it up in a, a two tablespoon probably a one is fine guys enough for this why were you putting the butter? Of course, it's risotto. We need this kind of fat to make it more richer, richer, richer texture and taste and flavor. 
there, guys. I, I, I added a fresh uh, ground black pepper actually to make it uh, more more seasoned. You know, I need the, the kick of the pepper. I'm a peppery person, so that's why I love also the pepper taste on this dish. It's vegetarian, by the way, guys. So for those who are vegetarian lovers, so that is, guys. It's done. Risotto, my risotto is done. But actually, guys, I won't be serving this as a risotto. And as I told you, I'm going to make this one as a risotto balls. So risotto balls is a uh, the recipe for risotto balls. Uh, arancini, it should be a leftover risotto. So that's why I'm cooking today and tomorrow this is going to be a leftover. I'm gonna cool it down in the fridge. And tomorrow I'm going to make a ball in this, stuffed with the cheese. And I'm gonna show you the continuation tomorrow, guys. Today I'm just showing you how to make a tasty, creamy, wonderful body of risotto yeah, guys, if it's too thick for it for you it's gonna just add more water guys actually for some they're using a cream whatever but for me a lighter version I don't use cream because as I told you I'm going to make this as a ball just simple risotto guys imagine eating this with a grilled chicken grilled turkey Roasted duck. This is very good combination, guys. With uh, come up with a uh, accompaniment of your favorite white wine. Yeah. Okay, guys. So come on. I'm going to let my brothers here who are waiting say hi. Hi. Guys. Say hi. They're waiting for my risotto to be tasted. So. Let, let's see the reaction while eating this risotto. Is it your first time to eat risotto? Yes. Okay. Mushroom risotto. Tisha, Tisha, give me Tisha. Okay. How is it? It's nice. It's nice. Okay. Now there's another, uh, another person to taste, guys. Okay. You. Okay. You. It's your turn, man. Mm. How is it? Nice. Nice? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. Very nice. Yeah, that's okay. They said it's nice. It's their first time to taste this, but they said it's nice. So there you have it, guys. You just simply pour it on the dish. But for me, I'm gonna fridge this out, pull it down, put it in the fridge. Tomorrow there's going to be a leftover and we're gonna make a ball, arancini ball. See you, see you on my part two of this wonderful risotto arancini balls. Thanks for watching. Okay, so guys, we'll be putting here to pull it down. We are intentionally, intentionally making a lot of leftover. Yes. Yeah.